So we're holding good, which means no vacuum leaks, which is a huge plus. Um, now it's time we can go ahead and charge up the system. Some people have the large things of refrigerant and you can hook your line right up to it and you can go ahead and start charging it that way. And it's pretty neat because you can actually watch the fluid go in and uh, you'll have to watch your gauges uh, to see where you're at. Uh, we know from looking at our, or our, our vehicle here, and this is also another way, R134A, and it actually tells you how much this says it holds three pounds. So we know that we need to add four cans of R134A because uh, these are 12 ounce cans. So that'll give us our uh, 48 ounces, which equals three pounds. So if you ever have a issue where you can't figure out how much oil or how much uh, refrigerant to put in, it's right here on your vehicle. You just have to look and it'll tell you all your information. It'll tell you your oil. It'll tell you your R134A, how much. And especially since this system was totally out, we know that we can go ahead and We'll use our little adapter here since uh, I can't find my one that hooks up to here, uh, which you can charge your system using a can from this instead of the big tanks. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and charge it up uh, with this. And it's the same thing. We're going to take off that low pressure line there and we're going to put this on there with a can and we're going to go ahead and start pumping in four cans of this. So we can go ahead and disconnect our line. And you can get these at Walmart, Advanced Auto, Napa, anywhere. Uh, these are pretty basic. We're gonna go ahead and screw our can in here. Make sure it's all the way on there. And now we're gonna hook this to our uh, low pressure port on the accumulator. And you want to have make sure your AC is on and you want to turn it all the way to high now you're gonna to want to start adding your refrigerant up enough pressure in here for the compressor to kick on. Now move your can 12 to 3. Yep, and that's the compressor trying to kick on. Notice our light isn't flashing anymore. Once the can's done, we'll go ahead and start our next one. All right, so last can. our last can. You can see the gauge even on this is good. That's me pressing it down. That's why I did that. We are all set here. Now I go ahead and disconnect this. Don't forget to put your cover back on there. And you should be able to feel your lines. This should be nice and cold, and it comes to where it beats the, it's a hot and cold. So this is your hot side, your high, and then this part should be cold, so that's normal. And you can start to see the condensation already. So we are all filled up. 
We got all 48 ounces in. Four cans. Let's see how we're doing in here. Oh man. Let me put this window up over here. But I can already feel it. We have AC again. All right, so let's see what we're at here. Give it a quick zap. 42. 34. 30. It is nice and chilly in here. And our AC system is fixed. Thank God. I think a family of penguins can live in here now. A couple polar bears, nice and cold. <laughs> all right, so there you go. We are all set. AC is working great. Uh, just a couple different ways. I told you and actually showed you that you can fill it. If you don't have a manifold gauge, you can use those little kits. These little kits here, they work good for filling it. But if you have the adapter, which I can't find mine, <laughs> you can uh, go ahead and charge it up with your manifold. Really simple and uh, get you back on the road with uh, some nice AC. But All right, so we're all set here. Make sure to check out all of our videos that we did to get to this point and everything else we do here on the farm. And once again, we hope you like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.